Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you really quickly how to do a couple things using Digo to analyze a website, which is something you, you obviously need to do for your group assignment. The two things I'm going to show you are leaving sticky notes and highlighting um, text on the page. So first let's take a look at this website, maybe start to analyze it, see what's going on here. Um, I notice right away that they have an About Us button. This is definitely something I want to highlight and make sure that everyone um, in my group takes a look at. So first I'm going to do a quick sticky note. Now to add a sticky note you just right click anywhere on the page and I'm going to add a floating sticky note. Now I just added a very quick note. I realize um, you guys should probably leave a bit more commentary when you start to analyze the website. Also, be sure to set your note um, not to private but to the group. You also have the, the option to set to the public, but that means anyone in the public could leave comments. So after you post your comment, do notice that you, everyone in the group can actually start to comment themselves. Now with this note, you do want to be sure that you have it um, right next to the area you want to highlight. So I'm going to move this right next to the button where I want it. So next I'm going to highlight um, text on the page. Let's say I'm interested in um, making some comments about this particular sentence. All you have to do is highlight it with your mouse and then highlight the selection using Digo. Digo automatically highlights in yellow, but do notice that you have up here at the top of your um, browser the option to um, look at highlighting and you can change from yellow to pink and even blue and green. So remember for this assignment you do actually need to highlight in more than one color. Lastly, you can also add inline sticky notes, so if you want to add something particular about this um, bit of text, you can add um, a quick comment and just remember again to always leave your comments open to the group and then post them. And again, your comments are then available for everyone else to continue the discussion. And that is it, sort of the real basics of using Digo for your assignment. And if you have any questions, please let me know.